Shalom Aleichem, how are you doing? Baruch Hashem, things are very, very deep in the way that I see them, in the way that Hashem Barach is revealing His wisdom to me. And sometimes even the smallest things in the world are taking so much, taking us deep into our souls, into such deep places like random conversations with people and thoughts of ideas of of certain things or whatever just the holidays that are coming and we're so used to keep the Torah mitzvot and to do things but the thing is that really all of the emotional world and the spiritual world that we're experiencing as individuals is something that we must not ignore the Creator is speaking to us in a language that only we can understand and it means that to every person Hashem, the Creator, is speaking in a different way and He's revealing to us His will so now to every one of us, to every single one He's using certain signs and hinting Him in a different way to wake us up and to bring us to that place that we will find the message of Hashem, that we will understand what Hashem is expecting from us, what He wants from us. And to all of us, the final conclusion, the final purpose of life is basically the same. We all need to complete our faith. We all need to understand that everything that we're going through in life is handmade of the Creator, is a tailor-made suit just for us, by the hands of the Creator, made. But... um, Every one of us is starting in a different place. Our starting point is different. And that's why every one of us has to go through a different path and a different um, missions and in life and to take responsibility on other things and to work on other things. So now, the fact that one person needs to work on his mornings and on being tired every day for a very, very long time, and that can be the main thing that he needs to work on in life, doesn't necessarily mean that for you it's also a very important thing. If you're waking up naturally and you have other issues, you need to understand that on them you need to work, and it's okay that you don't need to work on something that for someone else will be like the most important thing in the world. One person wants to be awake every midnight and to call Hashem and to cry on the destruction of the Holy Temple. And another person feels like, hey, I don't understand even what what the Temple is all about, what's what's all all of that redemption issue is is about mourning and crying to Hashem. I, I don't get it. I... What's going to be with my financials? What's going to be with the peace in my house? What's going to be with my children? So, for a person like that, he must have that understanding that whatever you go through in life and those things that you need to put your mind on them and your focus on them, that's the will of Hashem from you. And that's exactly what you need to do. And you need to believe in yourself that that's exactly what that is important in the eyes of Hashem Barach. And that's what he wants you to work on. And you don't need to feel bad with yourself because you are not now dealing with your learning or dealing with your davening, with your prayers, and dealing with your aliyah, going to Israel. All of those things can be also very great, very important, very fantastic, but not in my plate, not as for now. Now I need to deal with other things, need to close other corners. The thing is that faith in the Creator starts with faith in yourself. That you will really gonna accept the individual, very personal supervision of the Creator on you. That He took you to that journey. That He took you to those places. That He brought you to those understandings. That He revealed to you all of those amazing things that woke you up in the past, in the journey of of your life and only when you're going to understand that you are important in the eyes of Hashem only when you're really going to realize that Hashem cares about you and He wants you to grow and He wants you to develop and He wants you to succeed and He wants you to find true happiness 
And what's true happiness all about if not about completing yourself and finding answers to your questions? If now all of my questions, let's say they've been answered, how is it going to affect your life? Let's say that even if we're close, it will help you in a bit. It will help you a little bit. But if we're not going to complete all of your issues, you need to pay your mortgage, you need to pay your rent, you need to fix a few things in a few very twisted relationships that you have with people, with friends, with family. You need to have all of those things fixed and done. So for that, you need to pray on things that really bothers you. So for that you need to pay attention to who that you really are and to try to do the best that you can to express your emotions and to share with your feelings and to try to be that person that you really want to be and to feel comfortable about yourself to feel, hey, I'm doing the best that I can and now when you stop chasing yourself and blaming yourself and you let yourself breathe and you accept your path and your journey and you realize, okay, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm doing the best that I can. Shem is helping me, I have my journey, I have my tasks, my missions, and I'm, I'm on them, I'm working. One got domestic slump bite problems. His wife and him cannot take, have one conversation without arguments. He needs to put everything aside. He needs to focus on that. You have economic issues, you have problems, you're not covering your expenses, you don't know how to pay your, pay your bills. You need to focus on that. Can you do ten things in one time? I cannot. I cannot. I'm not able to. And I don't think that I should. I think that the list of priority been created and, and, and written by Hashem. And if Hashem Barach is making certain things to be so hard for me, it means that he wants me to focus on them. And I'm not going to chase myself on not completing and doing other things. Because when I'll have the free time from those things that are bothering me right now, that are making me so crazy and lunatic and, and mad, so I'll have more time and I'll be able to dedicate my time more to learning and more to my individual, uh, spiritual, uh, I don't know what, how you call those things, growth. Slowly calmly, with Hashem in the picture, with Hashem in our lives, with many good things, with truth, with justice. You see someone now that is suffering. You see people that, that are in need, that need salvation, that needs help. Help them. Do something good for people. Do amazing things for people. Let the world be happy. Let the world see your beauty, the beauty of Hashem. Give a hand, be a friend, be a partner. Give from your life, give from your power, give from your wisdom. So now you're helping a friend to move, you're helping a friend to, to get married, you're helping a friend to pay his rent, you're doing something. You help a, a person to, to take out his dogs because he needs to go to some meeting. I don't know what. You're doing something good. So don't blame yourself on not learning in that time. Or, or not developing yourself spiritually, whatever. If Hashem would want you to meditate 24-7, He would make you an angel. If Hashem would want you all day long to have holy thoughts and numbers and combinations of, of letters and Kabbalah in your mind, He would give you a different mind. He would install a different software into your brain. You wouldn't be who that you are. Who that you are is who that Hashem made you to be. And who that you are is the best that can be. So feel good with yourself that you're in good hands. And find power to keep on investing in yourself, in your own true self, to feel complete and good with yourself, to be happy. And help us to share those videos because they are life savings. They are. I'm receiving emails. I don't know what to, what to tell you. How much how much power and light Hashem Barak is putting into those videos and, and into those short clips and, and, and walking in the night and, and the long classes. It's so important. People's lives are being changed. 
people are looking for random things on YouTube and they're finding the Amuna project. People are searching for for salvation for themselves and and they're finding falling into our into our family into our content and 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 it's a life saving. Hey Rav Dror, I'm 57 years old. I didn't keep Shabbat since I was 12. Uh, hi Rav Dror, how are you doing? I'm in Hyde and I find your message life saving and I want to do this and I want to. And, and so many messages. My Jewish name is like this, like that. All of my life I lived like a foreign. I never knew, I never remembered that I'm Jewish. And, and all of those souls that were asleep for so many years are coming back to life. And that's the redemption. That's our salvation. That's the real redemption of Hashem, that He wakes us up one after the other. And we need to help each other. So feel good with yourself and keep on. And keep on. Because we're doing amazing, amazing things. Every prayer is rising to the crown of Hashem, to the crown heights, to the highest places of them all. And Hashem is with, with us. And the one that heals and accepts all the prayers will answer to all of our prayers and will, and will reveal His loving kindness on us to build us and to support us. Please share those videos and send, send them to as many people as you can. You're saving lives, you're saving souls, I'm telling you. Help us and support us. Help us with our amazing project. It's a movement. The Amuna project is a movement. You must understand, it's not a business and it's not a website. It's a family, it's a community online that is growing and expanding. And thank God we see amazing results. May Hashem bless you all with happiness and truth. Amen. In this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator. To remember that it's all Him. Never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.